I'm Cinnamon Cooney, your art sherpa, and today I'm going to show you in five minutes how you can paint a pink tree with a fan brush. I'm going to start out with a round brush in black paint to put in a cluster of lines that are actually trunks. When you're painting trunks, remember to make the line thicker at the base where it comes out of the ground and thinner as it tapers up. I'm going to rinse out and get my hog fan. I'm going to get a little bit damp, but not too damp, remember. I'm going to take my magenta and my bright red mixed together, and I'm using an edge load, toe load, stipple stroke to begin to build the tree. My strokes are curved and almost even a little bit weeping down, which we will build on as we go through the tree. I'm going to continue to stipple up and down. This first run of pressure is fairly medium. It's still pretty light, but it's enough to build a full ample tree that definitely has a lot of leaves and flowers that we can appreciate. It's got a nice round shape. I'm going to rinse out, dry off, and now I'm going to take a little yellow into my magenta and red and a bit of white, and I'm going to start coming in and defining highlights. I'm looking for structures in the tree that will represent clusters or branches of flowers that are individually showing out. If I need to, I'll come back with dark value here and add a little bit dark value in because remember, that's what makes it seem like the interior of the tree is in shadow. Back into the white and then stippling up and down, curving that stroke. I curve to the right when I'm on the right-hand side and I curve to the left when I'm on the left-hand side is kind of a nice way to do it especially when I'm going around a full fall branch. So I'm curving right here, twirling that brush to show those branches that are delicately coming up over my trunks. Don't paint out all your dark color because that's what builds the structure of the tree. Continuing to arc, finding little structures. At the top, you can put a lot more little pink and notice that you want those little bits of wild uh, brush strokes that represent errant leaves. I'm getting into my very favorite hot pink. You pick your favorite pink and I'm adding white into it to start really defining that highlight. Stippling up and down on a curve, just like in our first video, doing those little falls, adding definition and little branches. But notice that we leave a lot of shadow underneath them and between them so that they become defined structures. Continue this throughout. You can see I'm building a little branch on the left and a bit in the right coming around the side, stippling up over on the left again to create different little elements and mostly at the top to show that the top is more in the light than the rest of the tree where you can really see the flowers start to sparkle and shine. More white now for a light, light pink and come in defining the branch on the left at the top Notice I don't paint out the work that I've already done. I add to it, and this is about sprinkling or lightly defining as we build this tree. This is kind of a fantasy pink tree, but I like to imagine that it's a tree we could have in our yard. I wonder if you have a tree like this in your area. I'm continuing to add highlights. I'm rinsing out and I'm getting a dark color because I'm gonna go back and add shadow to the center of the tree. It's going to help it feel more real and robust. I don't paint out my highlights. I'm just creating some depth. And in the center, I twirl my little brush and kind of create a continuity of leaves so that it's nice and believable. I'm going to rinse out and I'm going to grab my round brush, mix an orange, add a brown to it, and create a highlight on my tree trunks. This is the sunlight that's hitting those trunks and taking them to the ground important to light your trunks and your tree. They both have sunlight on them. I like to continue my branches and trunks into the tree, but when I do that, I will definitely break those lines. So you'll notice that I am on the toe of my brush making delicate strokes. The strokes make little Ys and Vs and wander out, and these represent the branches that are showing. I don't want to paint them solid because that means the tree would be sliced in half. So you have to have some of them hidden have fun with that, play with that. You can duplicate what I have here or you can make it your own. Continue to add highlights where you think that's necessary. Now, at got to give it some grass, so I'm going to go in and take my pink and red and make a little land. I'm going to be super messy about it. You can be messy about it too because ground is bumpy. Take your fan brush with that same pink. Pushing upward, let the fan brush create your grass. Add a pink highlight to it. That way there's continuity between the tree and the grass, but don't paint out all your shadow because shadow is what builds the plant. Continuing to add a highlight and you've really painted a nice pink tree. 
I really have had fun showing you how you could do this in just five minutes. I can't wait to show you what we're going to do tomorrow. Be good to yourself. Be good to each other. And I want to see you at an easel really soon. Bye-bye.